Hey y'all, I'm Kirsty. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are making two really delicious crock pot meals. This first recipe, I think I'm the most excited about. We're making a pork shoulder roast in the crock pot. And y'all, it's a pretty big roast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook it fully today, and then we're gonna use that for several different recipes throughout the week. Have my handy dandy crock pot out here. So I'm just gonna take my roast and I'm gonna sit it in. Now I have a pretty big roast, so it's gonna take up the whole crock pot. But I want to go ahead and season this as well. And I'm just gonna use generic seasonings because with this roast, like I said, we're gonna use this for multiple different meals throughout the week. So I don't want it to have just one specific flavor. So first I'm just gonna start out with some salt and pepper. And we will season this on all sides. So this might take me just a minute. Also want to use some onion powder and garlic powder. After getting that all seasoned, I do want to add in just the slightest bit of water to the bottom, maybe like the total of half a cup or so. You probably don't have to do this, but I just feel more comfortable doing it because I don't want it to burn at all. <laughs> okay, but with my roast, mine is about a 10 pound roast. It's pretty big. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on. And what I read online is it said to cook your roast on high one hour per pound plus maybe another hour so mine's probably going to go for about 10 hours today it's going to make the house smell so good all day long so i will check it probably around the eight hour mark just to see how we're doing and then i will bring y'all back when this is done and we get started on our dinner recipe I've had this roast going for about 11 hours today. Y'all, it has had my house smelling so good all day long. Now this one is a bone in, and so I'm just gonna see if this bone will just slip right out. Ooh, it came out clean, look at that. So I think that's a pretty good indication that this roast is done. So what I'll do is I'll take this out, because as we can see, it's just shredding so nicely. So I'm just gonna take this out, put it on a big plate, and shred the whole thing. The recipe I'm making tonight is pulled pork burritos. And these are gonna be super, super simple. I just kinda I know that they have recipes for this online, but I'm just kind of coming up with it kind of on my own. <laughs> but I'm just taking some of that pork we just shredded up. I'm gonna put it here in this pan. We're gonna take a package of taco seasoning. We're just gonna add that right in. And then I also have a can of black beans that I rinsed, or I drained and rinsed. We're just gonna add those right in there too. I'm just giving this a stir so we can get that taco seasoning incorporated. And we're just gonna let it sit here and sit on the stove for just a few minutes, just because I wanna make sure those beans get warmed up. For my burritos, I'm using some of these Missions Carb Balance Whole Wheat Tortillas. This was the first time I've actually seen the whole wheat tortillas in my grocery store, so I was kind of excited about that. But in my tortilla, I'm just gonna take some of our taco pork mixture with our black beans. I'm just gonna put that right in the middle. And the fun thing about this with any kind of burritos, it doesn't have to be pork burritos, you can just add what any kind of toppings that you love. I'm gonna keep mine pretty simple tonight. I'm just gonna have our meat and beans. I'm gonna add some Fiesta blend cheese on top. 
and some shredded lettuce and I might even add some ranch dressing. For me, I find the best way to do this is to just kind of fold up the ends, take this long side over here, fold it over, kind of tuck your corners in a little bit, and then roll. All right, y'all, there it is. I'm super excited to try this. When it was warming up on the stove with that taco seasoning and the black beans, it smelled so good, so let's try it. Y'all, that is just so, so good. I love how there are so many different things that you can make with a pork roast. You don't just have to have it as like a roast with the veggies. Completely versatile. Something else is I'm going to bring y'all back tomorrow night because we're going to have another recipe with that pork roast. And then I'll bring you along for a brand new crock pot recipe. Hey y'all and welcome back to night two of making recipes out of that pork roast. This one I'm really, really excited about. It is so simple, so easy. We're just going to make a barbecue pork nachos. Now, the fun thing about nachos is that you can add tons of different toppings. We're going to keep ours pretty simple tonight, and I'm thinking we could probably have this ready to eat in about 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. I went ahead and laid my chips out here on my sheet pan. I want to top this with some just cheddar cheese. I shredded this up just a few moments ago. And what I like to do is I like to actually do like a pre-bake and I like to go ahead and melt this cheese on top of these chips before we put our meat mixture on top. So after I get this cheese on, I'm just gonna pop this in like a 350 degree oven for maybe like just five minutes or so just to get this cheese melted. While we let that cheese melt in the oven, I have my pulled pork here in this bowl and I'm just gonna top it with some of the Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce. Now that we let that cheese melt, I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of this pulled pork. I find it easier just to kind of use my clean fingers. And we're just going to kind of pull this apart because it's still cold, so it's kind of hard. And we're just gonna lay this along tops of the chips. And now this is a fun part. You can add all kinds of toppings, whatever you love. I think what would be really good on here is maybe like some black beans or corn. I'm actually gonna take some of these pickled jalapenos that we canned this summer, and I'm just gonna kinda lightly sprinkle them throughout. I don't want this to be too spicy, so I'm not gonna put a ton of them, but just enough to give it a little bit more flavor. And then once you're done with the toppings, go ahead and add on as much cheese on top as you want. Me and my husband love a lot of cheese, so we're going to add quite a bit. <laughs> I do not think you can ever go wrong with cheese. Let's add this to our 350 degree oven for maybe about 10 to 15 minutes. We just want to give it enough time to warm up that barbecue pork and melt that cheese.
Y'all, I really just love getting to make these nachos. They're super delicious, really easy to put together. You can add any kind of toppings that you want to. So I got to show you two different recipes that you can make with that pork roast. Now y'all leave me some comments down below on some different recipes that maybe you and your family have tried. Hey y'all, it is morning time and I am getting ready to get our last recipe going. And so today we're gonna make barbecue pork ribs in our crock pot. As y'all just saw, I peeled off that back layer of skin right here on the back of these ribs. I just use a paper towel to do that. It's pretty simple once you get it going. But I'm going to go ahead and season the rib meat with some Lowry's seasoned salt. Some paprika. onion powder and some black pepper I'm just gonna kind of pat that into the meat so because we're gonna flip this over and season the other side with the same seasonings and I just want to make sure that this sticks to the meat. I'm placing my ribs in the crock pot, just like this. I was thinking, let me flip it around. Oh, <laughs> it's slippery. I'm gonna. I put it with the rib meat towards the outside of the crock pot. I'm just gonna kind of squish it down a little bit. That way, we can sit the lid on top going to use some of this honey barbecue from Sweet Baby Ray's. I'm just going to kind of squirt this all over and I'll also uh, move it so I can squirt the other side too with some of that barbecue sauce. And I'm just going to use my brush here to just kind of brush it all over the ribs. Let's add our lid here on top. All right, so let's go ahead and get this crock pot turned on. We're gonna cook this on low for about seven hours. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the eight hours and I'll keep a close eye on the time to make sure we don't go over seven hours too much. Um, once this goes for seven hours, we are gonna pop it in the oven. So I'll be back here in just a little bit and show y'all that process. Y'all, <laughs> these ribs smell so good. Like my house has been smelling amazing all day. Okay, but I took the ribs out of the crock pot. I put them here on a sheet pan. I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle a little bit more barbecue sauce on top of these. And then I'll just use my brush and just kind of spread it out evenly along the whole ribs. And then what I will do is I'm gonna put these in the oven on broil for, you know, just maybe like four to five minutes, just because I want that top to get nice and crispy.
Y'all, does this not look amazing? I mean, you can't get better than barbecue ribs. So I'm gonna give this a try. I am gonna have to set the plate down because you know with ribs, you gotta use both hands. Hang on. <laughs> All right, so I got my rib. We're gonna try it. Wow. Best ribs I've ever made. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Those are amazing. They're juicy. They're tender. Literally, they're falling off the bone. Wow. If you've never made ribs in the crock pot, write it down on your meal list right now to make this. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me this week as we made these crock pot meals. They were delicious and I had a lot of fun making them with you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below on what are some of your favorite crock pot recipes and I will see y'all next time. Bye.